Hey guys, JD Sutar, AFC, Northerners, Ravens, and as promised, boom, it is purple. Said I wouldn't let you down. Ravens made it to the playoffs. I made the, uh, the not bet, but I made the claim that if the Ravens wound up in the playoffs, which they did, hair, beard, eyebrows, all of it goes purple. Unfortunately, we got our asses kicked by the Chargers because, well, something that we need to talk about, which is the firing of Marty Morningweg. That's right, gone. Uh, Greg Roman is now the offensive play caller for the Ravens. Uh, Marty opted not to stay with the team. So there's a lot of interesting changes that could happen, especially with DaCosta now at the head as general manager. Thank you very much, by the way, to Ozzie Newsome. You got us through two amazing Super Bowls, fantastic draft picks. Uh, we've got two Hall of Famers right there. Uh, it, you know, so... Thank you, Ozzy. Thank you so much. Um, I'm not going to edit this thing because I wanted to get it up. There's just some random th stuff that I want to talk about. Um, I wanted to make good on my promise. One, Marty Morningweg. Two, um, I wanted to talk about the Chargers loss to the Pats real quick. So let me jump into that. Um, so the... The Patriots just basically knew exactly what they needed to do to the the Chargers in order to stop them, and it was exactly what we didn't do uh, in order on offense to kind of skirt that idea, and they went down. So truly, I think that, again, I think this is just a sign that our offensive play calling was not at all where it needed to be, and we could have actually won that game if we hadn't had the same six, seven plays called all last half of the season. So we're going to we're gonna see what Greg Roman brings to the table. I'm really excited to see how we start off next year. Well, this season, I guess, coming up. So, and also then there's the draft. Ah, oh, so much to think about. So, Pats, Chargers. Chargers got their butts handed to them, which I'm not really surprised. Uh, it was like 40 to something. It was ridiculous. But... Anyway, so let's move on to the next thing, and that is Flacco. We don't know where he's going yet. We don't know whether or not he's staying. It looks most likely that he's going to go. There's been rumors about the Bucks and some other places. Could be interesting to see where he winds up. Either way, Joe Flacco got us a Super Bowl, and while I've never been wacko for Flacco, um, I do appreciate what he's done for this, and I also appreciate what he's done for Lamar Jackson. Um, I think that it would be interesting to see if he does wind up staying on through the end of his contract with the Ravens, but I really don't see that happening. Also, just a little side note, Greg Roman was the offensive play caller for the 49ers during the Kaepernick years. It could be interesting to see whether or not we wind up with Kaepernick back on the NFL side of things, possibly with the Ravens, since Greg Roman is kind of, you know, there for him. And it would be great to have someone like Kaepernick and RG3, if he winds up staying, guiding that young man. So that's interesting. That could be really interesting. I'm not anti-Kaepernick. And if you are, I'm sorry, but I don't agree with you. I'm just going to put it out there. I do like Kaepernick. He did, you know, take them to a Super Bowl. Um, I think it could be interesting to see exactly what happens with Greg Roman at the play call. Um, but all of that's speculation. Who knows? So uh, I want to wrap things up real quick with this final note. I just want to give a shout out to all the other guys, AFC Northerners, Gabe, Chris, DGBG, um, uh, Mark Herman, Ace Boogie. Seriously, guys, thank you so much for like being there, doing the individual videos. We're still trying to work out when we're doing a group show. Um, I haven't had a chance really to touch base with the guys. I literally kind of... Uh, just kind of got back into the thing of things and then playoffs and then everything else. So we're going to try and do a year-end group show, um, trying to see where that happens. But I can't make any promises on that yet. I know I kind of like, you know, hinted at it last, uh, last uh, video I did, but we're still trying to work that out. Well, anyway, uh, again, guys, also, if you're tuning into this uh, channel, thank you so much. For those of you who have commented, please subscribe, comment more. We're going to have videos coming out all during the off-season, too, whenever we have big news, plus the draft. So we've got a lot of things that we're trying to make happen. Um, it's been a really great year. I've been so excited for what we've been able to bring to the table this year. I know it's been a lot more individual videos and less group shows, but I'm trying to see if we can work around that. It really depends on a couple of things. One, 
Let me put this out there. If you are a Bengals fan and you are in the Los Angeles area, hit me up, let me know, because we're looking for an alternate Bengals fan to be on the group shows. Mark Herman doesn't really have the availability to do it, uh, to do the group shows. We used to love having him on there, but his schedule has just changed so radically and he's got some things that he's going on with his own life. So we're looking for a Bengals fan that is in Los Angeles that would like to be a part of the show. If that's you, uh, hit me up in the comments, or you can just email us at afcnortherners at gmail.com. That is afcnortherners at gmail.com and say, hey, I'm in LA. I am a Bengals fan. I would love to talk about being on the show. And that would be dope. I would love to have that. Anyway, guys, um, again, promise kept. Marty's gone. Flacco's going. Who knows where? Greg Roman is our offensive play caller. And we still have two games at least, well, yeah, two games. What am I saying at least? We have two games left in the entire season, and it's exciting. It's really exciting. I personally, I want, I would love to see, I would love to see the Saints get in. I'd love to see the Chiefs get in. Um, uh, the Rams and the Patriots, not so much, but I, I think the Chiefs, Saints, uh, Rams, but not the Patriots. Fuck the Patriots. As a matter of fact, I'm going to sign off here. I've had a lot of coffee today. I'm going to sign off here, as I always do, and a lot of the other guys do, with fuck the Patriots. And guys, thank you so much for being a part of this channel. Please subscribe, please comment, and we'll talk soon. J.D. Sutar, Ravens.